In today's digital age, everything from your smartwatch to your smart car has semiconductor chips embedded in them. From electric scooters to cutting-edge hypersonic aircraft, life-saving pacemakers to supercomputers, within the core of each of these devices is a semiconductor chip. To make these chips, we need experts called as VLSI professionals. With the increasing use of digital devices, we need more VLSI professionals to keep up with the demand and make better chips for the future. In recent years, it is evident that most of the countries including India are focusing on the semiconductor industry and there will be lots of job opportunities due to the rising demand. Talking about VLSI jobs, what are the different job roles in VLSI industries? Which one would be the best fit for you? What are the skill sets required? In this video, we'll break down everything in detail for each and every role. These front-end roles will be covered in this video and following back-end roles will be covered as well in the next part of the video. Apart from the front-end and back-end, we will also cover analog RF engineer and CAD engineer roles in the next video. This video will surely help you to determine which particular job role suits you. So make sure you will watch this video till the end. Let's begin with the introduction of key players in the semiconductor industry. The type of chips produced by semiconductor companies can be categorized into two ways. In terms of their functionality, logic chips, memory chips, application specific integrated chips and system on chip devices and in terms of their type of circuit use, digital, analog and mixed signal chips. Now these are the some major player in memory chip market, these are some in logic chip market and in SOC market. In all these companies, if we see from high level perspective, they all take user specifications, design the RTL to realize the required functionality, implement this circuitry using transfer transistors, place and route the components and then fabricate or tape out the chip. To understand the digital design flow in details, you can watch the introduction to digital design video mentioned in the description. Let's understand the entire chip design process and corresponding job roles in any semiconductor company with a simple example. Imagine that you have to design a gated community. How will you start? Your first need would be to get the details of what all should be there in the community. How many residential blocks, how many clubhouses, the clinic, exit, entry path, etc. All these details in a documented form are what we called as a specification. Based on this specification, an architect will develop a sketch for each and every component inside the community. Similarly, for chip design, there are front-end engineers who take the product requirements and specifications as input to define the logical behavior and functional specifications of the system. These engineers create a functional model of system using high-level design languages such as Verilog or VHD. Once the architectural blueprint for each building is ready, then the entire plot should be organized to decide building positions and roads between the buildings. After this is done, the actual construction begins. This in the VLSI field is work of back-end engineers. Back-end designers translate the RTL design into physical layout. This includes synthesis, placement and routing of various components on the chip. The back-end design phase is crucial for ensuring that the physical implementation of the design meets the performance, power and other requirements of the system. Let's dive in to understand each and every front-end and back-end role in detail. 